growing kale is very easy and in this video i'm going to show you all the things that you need to know in order to grow your own kale at home or in your garden all you need is some seeds or small kale plant you need some room for them to grow so either in your garden or in a large pot at home you need good soil some water and sunshine and that's it they will grow beautifully they will last all the way to winter and in that case you'll have yourself some organic and waste-free kale for many months to come Start by preparing your garden. Get rid of all the weeds with the roots. The best time to plant is spring or fall. Loosen the soil. It's great if you can add some soil rich with organic compost. Then you can either plant the seeds directly or use small kale plants, which I did both in this case. Here I started in spring and planted green kale seeds and small black kale plants that was purchased and ready to go. When planting, plant in rows. Make even rows about 18 inches apart. If you're planting seeds directly, sow your seeds about a quarter an inch deep. Cover the seeds with soil. Water well on a daily basis if possible. If you're planting seedlings or small kale plants, it's suggested to have them planted in about 16 to 18 inches apart. However, in this case, I have them much closer together and they still did quite well. These kales grow this much in just about a couple of weeks. As you can see, the ones that were planted with small kale plant grew a lot faster than the ones from seeds. So if you want to have a jump start, you can grow your seeds indoor, which will be ready to be transplanted in about 5 to 14 days. Or again, you can just buy them ready to go. So now it's time to harvest. What you want to do is to cut the larger leaves with the scissors from the side. Like And you don't want to cut the smaller leaves or the top leaves in order for the plant to regrow easily. So here's how my garden looks like a few months later, in this case in October. You can see that the black kale that was transplanted from small kale plant did a lot better. And I didn't get too many plants from the green kale that was planted directly from seeds. But these few green kale plants that made it, they actually are doing very well. And even if you get a few plants to grow, it'll be more than enough for one family. I also made another video in which I'll be sharing the secret to how to make kale soft and delicious. So you can possibly fall in love with kale salads as I did. I'm also sharing the secret to how to store kale for a long time in the fridge. And my favorite kale and beet salad recipe all in the same video. I'll have the link in the description below. Now I want to share with you a few other tips that you might find helpful, which I learned from another video. So one was that, that if you're going to do the transplant idea, you can plant your seeds at home in either eggshell or toilet paper and you let the seeds to germinate. And once they do, you can directly place them into the soil in your garden. For the eggshells, you can just crack and place them into the garden. And for the toilet paper, you can just directly leave it there because they're both going to decompose over time. I thought it was a great plastic free idea because a lot of times when you buy these plants to be transplanted they come in plastic containers the other thing you can do of course is that you can plant your seeds indoor in a large container and once they germinate and they're ready to be transplanted you separate them carefully and then you just place them into your garden as for the last tip aphids are one of the most common pests that eat kale and one natural way to get rid of them are ladybugs each ladybug eat about 50 aphids per day which is about 5,000 aphids per its lifetime so this could be an organic and chemical free solution if it's needed thank you for watching i hope you found some of these tips helpful please share your thoughts your comments or any questions that you may have and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos thank you